Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator. In this, I'm going to show you, and this is 2021, exactly the same in 2020, 2019, etc. The Arc Tool. Now, the Arc Tool can be found over here, and it's in just beneath Line Segment Tool. So, Line Segment Tool, you've got Spiral Tool, Rectangle, etc. But the Arc Tool. Now, it doesn't look like it does much. In fact, it's one of those tools you think doesn't do much at all. However, it can be used in lots of different ways in Illustrator. So let's just remove that now. Simply apply. Just go over here and maybe set the color. Maybe go for, let's see, green or something like that for the stroke. Maybe set it to nine points so you can actually see it. And then just simply drag. And you can drag it along, make all kinds of different arc designs like that. And of course, quite often when you go over it, it goes, the artboard flies over the other side. Don't want that. What you can also do, you can press return when you've got that selected and it will display a number of options. Now, I very rarely use these, I must admit, these settings, but you can just set them to 500, but I normally just create it myself, the actual arc. So but you can see the preview there and you can see the preview there and you can go run through those, obviously the, the corners. And you can also set it to be open or closed. Now I'm just gonna go for, that was an open before. Now at closed, you can see closed, goes like that. And what it does, now you can also use the fill axis, though to be honest, it doesn't actually always fill it. Unless you've actually got a fill already set, it will just fill it with null, which is no use. So just gonna click there and you can see, you can quickly fill the design. But you can also modify this arc a little bit more. So you've got, there's also another option here, Y axis, which is basically the same as this, as far as I can see. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. And I'm gonna use open. So what you can do, you can go for convex and you can go for concave. So just go for concave. And basically all it is, is simply just rotate it around. That's it. So it's there's obviously in terms of functionality, it's not fast. Probably better when you've got, no different actually, closed. So, well, it is of course different when it's closed. So you can actually see, I'm just gonna go closed there. And you can see like that. There you go, that way, there. So there is a slight difference, obviously more useful when it's closed. So just crate again and again, see no fill. So I'm just gonna give it a fill quickly like that. Now, of course, you can modify it even more. You can, of course, I'm just gonna go to an open one. There's the open. And of course you can move it around. You can also use the direct selection tool and simply select point. It's just a standard, Unfortunately, it's not live. It'd be really nice if it was a live feature. Near enough, all these other tools like lines, I guess they're getting around to them. Maybe one day spiral tool will become a live tool. I'd love to see that. You can still move that around, but also you can use things like appearance panel. Appearance panel is super useful. Because what you can do, you can go over here and you can add another stroke. So simply right side menu. If you can't see the uh, there, you can do window and appearance. Just go right side and you can say add new stroke or duplicate item for a few reasons as well. But I'm just gonna add new stroke. And then I'm just gonna go say 20 points and you can change the color, so black. Now, cause that's on top, you can see if I just select that one, put it below. Now, because it's below, you can see the black line there. You can also apply effects as well to help that. So effect, distort and transform, maybe go for transform or maybe go for path and offset path. So you can always go for that and you can maybe make it 30. So you can sort of create a nice contour to design. So that's quite useful as well. You can change that, of course. Let's go for round, as you can see, round design. So you've got a really nice arc there. And again, you can still modify this design. So go here to direct selection and you can still move that around. And of course you can add more than that. If you want, you can always go and add another one, add new stroke. You can see another stroke there. And just go down to that one and maybe make it 40. And again, change the color. Let's go there. And maybe again, let's just go there. You can see offset has been duplicated as well. So click there and maybe make that 50. So you can actually see around the edge. Click OK. And you can keep varying this obviously. 40 and so on and so on. Change the offset for that as well. Oh, I've got rid of the offset. So let's just go effect, path, offset. 
20. Now, if you ever accidentally add, add the offset O down here or another one, you can always drag them around. So you can simply select and then just drag. That's perfectly reasonable as well. Let's just move that now. Also, what you can do, of course, with this, again, you can create this design, but with the stroke, you can always click there and you can always go down here to dashed lines. So you can create a nice dashed line. So let's make that five or maybe make that 30. Maybe make that 10 and so on and so on. So you can create a variety of different arc dash designs. Now, what you can also do, let's remove that. And I don't want that. So you can go always go to the right side and clear appearance. If you don't want that, you just go like that. Put that to eight point. What you can do, you can also, I'm just gonna set that to a different color, say red. Effect. Sometimes the effect menu just seems to be empty, even though it looks ostensibly the same. What you can do, 3D and extrude, and you can see what you can create. Create a nice 3D arc as well. Very quick and easy 3D arc design. So what else can you do with the arc? We'll just go over here and just simply do that. You can go to object and you can use it in patterns. So you can make, and you can see you've got a pattern design there. Maybe not the world's greatest pattern design, but you can of course move it around and modify the arc and pattern design, duplicate that design and much, much more. So cancel that. You can also use this with, let's move this now. Go here, object and repeat and radial. And you can see what you do. It just generates this nice radial design all the way around. And of course you can also do the grid option as well. And you can also change the radius there. And you can change the number of instances if it's not covered over there. And you can see in the layer, you go to layer, it's a radial repeat. It's an object which you can double click into. You go in isolation mode. So if you want to change this, double click and you can see the arc there. And you can modify that again. Now it's not alive, like I say, it's not, so you can't, but you can also, if you want, you can always hold down the alter option key and duplicate it and create another one. Maybe create another one. And it's all like that. So you can create very complex designs and you can, of course, modify, continue to modify it. What you can also do, let's get rid of that. There's the arc, just simply apply it. What you can do, you can go down here and you can go to over here to variable width profile and maybe select one of those. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see it, 20. And you've got obviously a much nicer arc design there. And of course there's a variety of other ones as well. Run through those. But you can also use the width tool. Width tool can be found over here. So here's the width tool. Width tool there. And what you can do, just hover over and you can see a little plus, you can add points. But you can also just simply, well, it's obviously adds a point. But you can always go to one of those little dots and you can drag that down and drag that out. Again, you can go down there and then just add another one there, add one there, and you can reduce it down, add one that side, and you can see you can create some very interesting arc designs that way. But also what you can do, you can add brushes as well to your arcs. So if you want to, just go over here, maybe add a bristle brush. So you've got a bristle brush. One, of course that removes the width profile. You can also see vary that, Go over here, stroke, 20, and you can create a nice arc design, very simple brush stroke design. And of course you can always duplicate it. So just duplicate that design, create multiple copies, maybe create different color as well. And you can see you can create a nice arc paintbrush effect very quickly using that. And of course you can use a variety of other brushes, not just that, via window and brushes. Well, the arc, Obviously, you can see it has a variety of different uses. And of course, you can do a lot more with that because I'm my favorite. Always just simply select there, close, and put that to black. You can always fill the arc. And of course, you don't have to fill it with just solid fill. You can always fill it with a gradient or maybe also fill it with other paths. So simply just go there and lip tool. You can see quickly create a very interesting arc design like that. And there's many other things you can do with the arc. So arc tool, not a totally, you can also use the ellipse tool to create an arc. So simply go over here to the ellipse tool and it's got a lovely live feature. Look, unfortunately it's not live once you've removed the point, but simply just drag that around 
maybe drag that there, say, and then simply go over to the direct selection tool and then select this point, the central point, and remove. And you can see you've got this nice ellipse there. And of course, you can remove that if you want. And you've got your there. So you can change the color, you can do various things, maybe make it a bit there. And you can see a nice arc design via the ellipse. That's another way to do it. I'm certain there are other tools you can use to create ellipses as well. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Illustrator, Photoshop, and many others. Also, please add some comments, always appreciated. Also, please subscribe to Graphic Extras, as well as check out the graphicextras.com website where lots of tutorials are on. And also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.